Hello everyone, good morning. It's another beautiful Saturday morning on Just a Chat with Bumi Alabi. How has been your week? Yes, mine has been amazing and honestly, I'm so blessed with people. I have amazing people on set with me today. You know I'm not alone. I'm never alone. And let me start from my extreme left here. I have our one and only Mr. Imp. Impeccable, the perfect gentleman of the world. Why are you looking at me? That without your eyes intimidating. <laughs> you, are, you are a perfect gentleman, aka Mr. Avalon. Ah. AKA, morning, are you not Mr. Avalon now? I'm Mr. Impeccable. Mr. Impeccable. Oh, come on, Avalon, Yanko. Husband to my bestie. Mm -hmm. Eh? <laughs> Good morning. How are you, sir? Good morning. Very nice to be here. Good thank to have you once me. again. Thank you for always responding anytime we call on thank you. you. Thank and you. And whenever I see your set today, I know ah, today's going to be loaded. I, I, I hope I, I'm safe. You are safe. <laughs> uh, uh, with, the, with your partner now, with my partner here, you are safe now. Oh, mm -hmm. Just so be rest assured. Thank you for having me. <laughs> and from my extreme right here, I have my my partner in in casting people. In chatting. <laughs> in chatting. Uh, are you just chatting? Are you uh, just, just uh, chat. Uh, so that by the time people are coming, they'll say, Is there more you to be on set today? <laughs> <laughs> that I don't understand. And you always cast chatting. people now, eh? No, Please say we casted you on my anniversary day it's now. Just a chat. Just, just a chat. Chatting. Just a chat yes. and casting. Yes. Yes. Anyway. Say anyway. Say uh, the way it is. Okay, so how are you doing? I'm cool. As well. I can see you always cool. There's energy. Energy. Energy to go, eh? I hope, you, I hope my brother is safe with you. Uh, uh, why not? Why not? It's just a chance. Okay, let's just see. And please help me to welcome my amazing sister mm -hmm. and senior, my senior uh -oh. in school then, you know? Uh -oh. I say, uh -oh. I, I, I'm just trying to recollect the face. Ah, I used to know this sister as a pastor in my, in my school now. Wow. <laughs> see you. I'm trying, as in, I remember that this face is very, very familiar. Please join me to welcome my guest today. Thank you, Adiko Denny, my name. Yeah, you still introduce yourself properly. Yeah. So please just let's meet you officially. Okay, you. my name is Adiko Denny, and um, I'm here just to chat. Just to chat. <laughs> just to chat. I love that. I love that. It's just to chat. Just to chat. Yes. You know, when my husband said, ah, I would love you to have um, my clients for your just a chat. Ah, you know, I've been hearing a lot about you. Let me just confess. I've been hearing ah, that auntie can talk. Ah, wow. She talk. Yes. Uh, no, now. I when, talk when I need to talk. You talk when you need yes, yes. But you know, it's always good for you to talk reasonable and talk when it will be needed. Yes. So when I said I should bring you on just a chat, I say, ah, it is a good place for you to now utilize your ability yes, to talk yes you understand yes uh -huh. so if i what we're able to do behind the scene, i was like hey guess you <laughs> <laughs> so i love this you know when i, I saw you and your husband I, said, ah, I know your husband a friend to my brother yes, said, ah, so this is a small world it's a very, small, very world. small world so good to see thank you, you. Good to have you thank here. you so much everything. fine thank it's you been like 35 years or there about wow years. about yes, 30 uh, years about now. 30 years wow about 30 years wow. or there about it's good to have you <laughs> thank you very much honoring our invite thank you i'm glad to be here too yes, thank you so thank, thank you everybody you. for joining us too on youtube or facebook or wherever you are joining from thank you for always being here with us and today what we're chatting about hmm, it's not a proco you know you always say we always like a proco but it's not a proco but you know when we see something going on uh, on, the, uh, on, the, uh, on the social media, we try to just see, okay, how can we just talk about this? And I think we've been trying to talk about something similar to it uh, a couple of weeks ago. And I said, okay, let's just see how we can discuss it properly here. And I'm glad I have a fashion guru here. Yeah. I have a analyst. I need, you are everywhere now. You are good boy. Good boy. Sort of. Hey, sort of. <laughs> you can come in everywhere. Yes. Yeah, that's so, your point. I, I know. Gospel artist. She's a gospel. She didn't yes, talk she about is. that. She's uh, a gospel sorry. artist. Silent <laughs> about that. Yeah, she's a gospel artist. Yeah, and I have a uh, daddy impeccable who is going to rep his gender here. Yeah, <laughs> I hope you are going to rep them well. He's capable. Okay. Very capable. <laughs> All right. I, I believe a lot of you would have seen the trending video uh, picture of this minister Theophilus that is really on the internet, and I've seen lots of reactions about. Ah, Minister Theophilus, okay, you won't marry. You know, so we even say, ah, so even he will have the plan to even get married. They say he was, they thought he was just, ah, 
heavenly conscious, oh, let's just live and die. Let's live for God and die and go back to heaven, at least. And they never knew that he had plan behind the scene. And not even Nigeria. He now went, the thing carried him out of the country to another country to go and pick a beautiful damsel as a wife. And we were like, bro, why are you not focused? Have you lost focus? And people were now trying to judge a lot of things about the wife, the way she dressed, the way she's this and that. And I was like, honestly, is there, is there anything bad in it for a man of God, somebody that is claiming to be spiritual, to say he wants to get married? Or, at least, I believe you've heard uh, his song before. Yes, I've heard, you, you've the, heard song. the song before. Yes, I heard. I've so heard the song. they think, okay, somebody of this caliber should not be thinking of marriage. I think I would like to start from Pastor David. I will call you Pastor David on this matter because they believe that once you are a spiritual person, you shouldn't, you should be like Paul. Don't think of earthly things. Like marriage is like a thing of the world. I'll be so. Okay, the, the question I've asked about uh, says who? Eh? That's the says who? About, says who? Social media or Bible? No, by Bible or... didn't make it, made it compulsory for us to get married. You know, he said if you can keep yourself, keep it so that you can focus on the things of heaven. Let's, let's try as, as much as possible. Balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. You mentioned Paul. Peter also was also a disciple. He okay. also married. Okay. Because uh, at the time Jesus needed to, was talking to go and visit his mother in law. Mm -hmm. So that means he's, he's married. Right. Mm -hmm. So we shouldn't look at um, one side of the gospel without balancing it. And it's, it's quite unfortunate these days that um, social media has become the, the cut of nowadays, where you bring people, you judge people, you analyze people, and that becomes the final. Mm. But that shouldn't be. My standard as, 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 a, as a person, because of my religion, should be Bible. Mm. All right? So if I come on social media and I portray something, this particular person, I'm not too much, uh, I, I don't, I listen to some of his own, but it's not too common for me. But I don't know when he has once come to the air or on social media and say, I'm not going to get married, I'm going to stay single. No, from, from the gonna, lyrics of his songs that <laughs> I'm on. sold out, in, like in, a deity, in, like... Hold on, hold on, I, I'm coming. Heavenly conscious. If he say, I'm sold out, uh -huh. does that mean he's and his wife can't sold out for God? No. Does that mean that, mm -mm. Does what, what? That, mean that God mm -hmm. is not in support of marriage? Mm -hmm. Does that mean that God does not use people that are married? Mm -hmm. Or does that mean people that are married cannot be so that for God? Mm -hmm. And even at present days, there are people who are married and so that for God. So he never said I was not going to marry. He never said I was going to stay single. And you know, so, and for God's sake, the beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So everybody is talking about the uh, so, so went to somewhere to get uh, married. Before we even go you know? to where he went to, we, <laughs> I want us to even start from, as in, you know, there are some people like that that at least which we've done, we've done this uh, youthful uh, stuff before. As in, when you are trying to be religious, you just want to focus on heavenly thing. You want to just be concentrated on uh, on on activities. You want to serve God. I just love God. Love on God. You know, I've I've been in that shoe before. I've done that before. That I don't even want to think about man. Any man that comes to my life, I'll just be like, ah, what are, you, are you even born again? Are you a child of God? You know. So people like him. You know, when you look at him, minister don't see, as in Nathaniel Bassi. You know, this is a set of people of, of minstrel, let me use that word, minstrel, because they are the one that, you know, their song is a kind of consecrated song that, ah, all my life on the altar. Emoji, are you? And, no, 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 understand what I'm saying. All my life is on the altar. It's just about God praying, groaning, and one way or the other, a lot of young people, it's, it's based on the reaction of people that I'm talking about, because a lot of young people were like, ah, they don't even want to think about marriage. They just want to serve God. I've seen comments like that on, on social media, that people were like, they were just thinking about God. They don't want to even think about relationship. Maybe people that have even been jilted or been served breakfast, and they would say, what is even in this world? I think he used to say that, what, there's nothing in this world. And they were like, oh, so... Marriage, so you are even thinking of marriage and you are saying there's nothing in this world. So I think that's where people bringing things out of context should really come in. When somebody is thinking that there's nothing in this world, does it mean marriage? But a lot of people have been misled indirectly. 
by this. Let me give it to my guest to talk about. You've listened to his song and yes. you've seen the reaction of people on yes. his decision to get yes. married. Not that people didn't want him to get married, but they were like, ah, we thought you are too holy. It's like, you don't understand the way people see this, uh, this mistrial. Like, it's too... How will he be thinking of a woman? Not just yeah. any woman. A figure, well figure, carved, crafted. Ah, wow. Me self, me self, I they feel for the shape. <laughs> ah, the shape is giving. Yes. Hey. So, ah. um, well, I think the mistake people make is mm -hmm. they always forget, yes, a man of God. Mm. But he's still a man. Okay. Good. He has giving us the impression, not even giving us the impression, that is his life. He has given his life to God, to, God. to give it to God all through. all through. But however, he is still in this flesh. Hmm. And the man simply opened his eyes and beheld what he wanted. Hmm. Behold the glory. I'm telling and you. somebody who said, so this is the glory you were beholding. Yes, so <laughs> it is the glory he was beholding. Hmm. And he found a good thing. Hmm. Abi, the Bible told us, uh, told us, Abi, and that he didn't even see within all the sisters. In that the, is in where God the, directed his, his mind to. Uh, God directed, uh, what was his name? Moses. God, Moses God directed him to. Yes. To Ghana. Abi yes. Way. And God can direct uh, another person still. So what of all the sisters have been doing? Kula God will help. That have been no, helping. the Lord will <laughs> bless them. God can direct another person from another country to come and pick to them come here pick too. Them. Hmm. So I just want to feel this man was just himself. Hmm. I love people that are themselves. Hmm. The truth is, he's a man of God. He's full, he's full with wisdom, knowledge, understand, the anointing, the glory of God. Hmm. But I bet you, no matter how, how we, you know, sort of lift up our men of God, hmm. they are still in this flesh. flesh. And I love the fact that this man opened his eyes and you know, chose what was best for him. Hmm. Like my daddy here said, we don't have the right to judge him. No, that is his choice. I'm sure he has been seeing a lot of ladies in the in administration and everything. But the truth is, he's a man of God that great. But he went for his heart, mm. his heart beats. Mm. And <laughs> for all we care, he has taken it all. Nothing can change it. Nothing so will take change it. So that means men of God too savvy fine things. In fact, they are eh? the ones that have the Pastor best Davis. wives. Eh? Eh? Hey. So let's look, 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 look at the ones that are the most beautiful Look at the wife of men of God. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, uh, Paula De Farasi. Uh -huh. She's wife now. Look at the wife they of men. They always uh, choose the glorious the, ones. The glorious, so what about your... So what, which one are your glorious ones? Let, let, me, eh? let me ask. So who will now choose your glorious ones? You are not saying... Let me answer this question. Okay. If Tivolos possibly have married someone that is not as crafted in your design. Exactly. Like in the design of God. Talk, eh? There will not be, you know, all manner of talk on social. Is that what you mean? But maybe he got married. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's not too basically say Nigeria, but it's not this way. So we will not talk. They will still talk. They will still talk. That he got married. But do you know do you know Moses do you know Moses Bliss or wife? got married to an outsider who is also in their own definition crafted. What is the bone? The issue is, the issue is, they never knew that somebody that spiritual as that could be attracted to. Does that mean as that, that no, mean, no. meaning that men of God too knows how to search, they to search and pick the best, and pick the best? Why did why did he why did he pick a lady that is just maybe short and maybe unglorious? Okay, okay, I don't even know the definition of unglorious <laughs> according to you, <laughs> but you know. The lady is fear. People always believe that, okay, fear people are very, very flashy. Number one is the complexion. Number two, the shape. So I think that's the definition of your glorious, Abby. Glorious, yeah. yes. yes. <laughs> Everybody is good. So why can't the pastors choose the ones that are at least? Pastors are guys now. Leave this thing. They are spiritual now. Why no. So you they know, open I, 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 I wish you, you saw the, uh, there was a record that we had sometimes where a young guy was saying, he wants to marry a thick lady. Thick. He's a thick, you, you understand? Okay. Thick okay. lady, as in, okay. he really emphasized that he wants a thick lady. That okay. per, per adventure, if he married a slim lady, he might cheat okay. on his wife. Because, okay. that, because we're trying to tell him that, how about character, all this? I said, no, I love it thick. Okay. And we were like, we're like they're telling him that, no, that one doesn't matter. My brother said, he said, hey, they go to fair. Yes, they let him, uh, and you know, we were like looking at him as if ah, he's not really spiritual, that he should be focused on the inner beauty. But this guy was sincere that I want someone that is thick. So how about if maybe Pastor Theophilus 
He's also having that mind. Okay. Said, but he never said it out. But within himself, he knows, ah, this is the quality I want. I want something thick. But, ma, you see, the, the, there's something we are mixing together. Okay. Religiosity and spirituality. Okay. I think a lot of people have, have seen religious to be spirituality. Mm -hmm. Now, when you say somebody is beautiful, when somebody is well crafted or mm -hmm. whatever, I don't know why you think people that are of God are not entitled to good things. Why do you have to come up with those, you know, mindset that when you're a man of God, you should go and choose one person oh, okay. that is, you know, Okay, sorry, somehow. sorry, as a man of God, so you sabi something good? How do you mean sabi? You, you know, they are even you identify, you, 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 you identify, you identify, you identify, wait, no, he's saying that, that who says pastor doesn't Okay, want let's go back so, to the beginning. So, what do you, what do you see? No, let's, wait, calm down, sir, calm down. What is your, let's leave spirituality aside. What is your definition of something good to behold in, mm. in a woman? It has to be with my own definition. Uh, my give us, you want to, yes. we, because we, it differs. We want to know. Somebody just told you now that he wants someone thick. Th yes. Eh, let somebody. Do you understand? You, you, you have, it's me. I, you I, have I, your wife. Okay, yes. what did you see apart from spirituality? and What did you see? She was, she was okay. What is okay? Calm. What is okay? Her calmness was actually uh, what uh, no, I don't want this to be. I don't want to be. I don't want to be. And you took the beautiful thing. Yes. If it was just opportunity, if you have opportunity to just show her picture when then, you mm -hmm. won't be. It wasn't like she wasn't like I this. Did, yes. But I you have the picture of what she will be in the next few years. No, reality, she was not like this. That is but, it. But she but never she's, knew. She's going to hear me. She, she, she was yes. not like this. What I was not like this. That is it. I, 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 I was, I was, I was going through some of the pictures where we did, um, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, Sword of the Spirit. Okay. And I saw Auntie Bosse with one, uh, you know, a suit skirt. I said, Jesus is love. The reality is this. What you are looking for is never what somebody is looking for. But the, I saw somebody, something in her that I like before all these guys begin to play. I'm telling you the truth. But, but now, but, sorry, sir, but now, you know, what you see now, you know, you've grown yeah, now. Yeah. But then, based on your knowledge then, yeah. there's something you still That's see. what I, I, tell, I told you. You know, now. you understand? Yeah. Based on your knowledge then, you still saw that craftiness, that beauty in her. How do you know that? So don't you know tell me. I know her. It's, it's My like, friend told me that he always loved tall men. So he saw that that's you are your tall. Friend, that's huh? it. So that was then. So he saw that you meet up with this quality, with this criteria. Yes. And he went for you. So you can't tell me that you didn't see something in her. Yes, that was the best thing. He said, he said, he said, the calmness. I love calm yeah. yeah. around me. No, he, he didn't talk about the tallness. He, he didn't talk about the tallness. She was a wife. She was a told that my wife told her that she told her that she Okay, wait, wait. This is me. Sir, let me now throw this to you. I'm now Did you just see the calmness? And you did not see the physical Okay. I have told you. No, 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 no. no. Said then. No, sir. This so, question is yes or no. It wasn't. She was not. Did bad. you not see the yeah. physical things on her? Okay, now I was not attracted to physical things. No, I didn't say you were attracted to. So I only asked. Are we, did you, you not see not, it? No, hold on, man. There's something I saw mm. attracted me to her, and I mm -hmm. begin to see. Mm. Those things that I see. You begin to see. Yes, you were attracted to what you see. You must see, sir. You must see. As a man of God, you must see this eyes there. Eh? You see the inner thing and you see the outer thing. And that was what Theophilus did. Ma, he I'm saw not, the I'm beautiful outer thing. So he's one no, we are not hair, against hair, anybody. Hair, hair. We are not against he's anybody. Hair, what, what, no, no, no. What I'm telling you is, you must see. It is not just about the calmness or the spiritual gifts. I think you see, you, you, you see, see, you see before, you see before you see before you see before you see see now. It's not the exactly. You are now talking. You are talking. What I want to say is that people should stop castigating. Doing as if they don't like something. People should stop castigating men of God. Come on. Yes, agreed. That calls for good thing. You know, Do you they, mean that bad thing is meant is for them? Exactly. Let me they, not call you. Know what? If you come married like, to a lady on the on the week here, will you talk? That is it. Uh, and can I talk? Ah, we say, oh, this they, man they is If they say it is God's will, can uh, I talk? Can, can I talk? Uh, with, yeah. Firstly, mm -hmm. they have seen the best thing ever, which is God. So every other thing that will follow will be best. Mm -hmm. So you don't expect them to follow to to, to get. Uh, I mean, to to see the bad uh, thing. And I want to say something. 
We are all beautifully and wonderfully created. So yes. who says that some people are bad? Mm. Who, who is saying that some people you are saying crafty? You are saying shape? Who said that some people shape are not? I have to take my time to so check some, that picture. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you not know what? I think I will have to go back a bit. Okay. I remember then when I was in school, okay. in the uni, uh, I remember some of our brethren then. Okay. Hey. Bim brothers. Brethren. Well, you know, been, been brother. you know, mm. you know me. I was chosen as a pastor because they knew that I was affiliated to the uh, Billy Akoni Ministry. Okay. But you know, I never heard who I was and how I want to be seen. Even in my church as a CAC, I use hearings. You understand? And I remember a lot of times my mom. My, my mom is a conk CAC, so she always tell me, ah, don't use it, don't use it. But mommy, I want to use this thing. I want to use necklace. You know, so she always see me as a rebel. So when these people chose me as a pastor, I say, see, me, I use hair in gold. I retouch my hair. So, but they have a picture of, they see me as Elisha Walegbeko. In fact, they call me party pastor. You understand? So all their sisters, the sisters of the fellowship that they are really big, big, they see them that they are serious believers. Now, when we finish school and this brethren that that mentor all the sisters that, mm. that they see them that, oh, this one, they are good girls, they follow what uh, instruction, don't use it. When they now went to marry, they didn't marry within the fellowship, mm -mm. some of them didn't marry within the fellowship. They went out to seek for the good things in court. Hmm. The good <laughs> thing in court, all the things they've, they've, uh, they've uh, criticized from uh, this list to use, they now went for a wife that used them. I was not like, okay, all these ladies that have become Jirogodo, that they couldn't dress up because of, uh, ah, they say this thing is, is going to lead us to fire if we do this. You know, they've made, they've, they've made some things to be seen and they couldn't do it and they were left alone. They now went yeah. for the best. So why would you now pretend as if you don't like some things? If you like it, why not do it? Don't make it look as if it's a sin. If a lady wears a cloth, you are the one that would define that this cloth is too tight. It's bringing out your shape, but the shape they enter your high. So don't pretend as if you don't like something, and you go for the best. That's what I'm, I'm against. If you are a man of God and you know that you like something, go for it. Say, let them know that you like it. Now, when that guy said he likes thick ladies, we're like, we're like making it look as if she's is carnal. You understand? But if he becomes a pastor now. It will go for thick ladies. Definitely. You, know? you understand? So that's just my own uh, um, point of view about it. Okay, don't castigate people when they want to dress well. Yeah. I remember there was a time we were talking about dressing, and some people were saying, oh, don't dress uh, a certain way to church, don't wear this to church, and the likes. You understand? We, we criticize a lot, and we pretend a lot, as if we don't like some things. You understand? So that's just my own point. Uh, there are some people that were even talking about a dress that should, should even go for a lady that wears armless. You saw the dress that uh, it is armless, it is, it is revealing her body, and a lot of things. And that's why I was discussing with my sister that did we actually consider the culture of where she's coming from? We people both people don't want it. to even hear about the culture. No, as much as they believe that he, the man is a pastor, your dress and they believe that it should, it should change. Because they believe that, okay, the way you look is not going to be for your husband. It could maybe make some other men fun. Oh, wow. So once you're a pastor's wife, maybe there's a particular way a pastor's wife should dress. Pastor David, should we? Um, I'm just beginning to see a lot of the mixed up. You see, someone said that, uh, I believe so much, that if somebody assess you mm. and possibly couldn't see value in you, said mm -hmm. don't fight the person. Okay. Just don't accept that person at prayer mm. because he couldn't see it. So it's not necessarily has to do with his appraiser or the person, but because he give a wrong assessment. Mm. So in the context of um, what's it called, tearful loss, is a pastor, is a minister. A lot of assessment has going on by virtue of what he portrayed to be somewhere or to be in social media, a pastor. So there's always there's already a mindset of people how the person you want to marry should look like, even when he has not do any definition by himself that yes. I want to marry this person. Yes. So the, the, going back to context of whether you like something, don't pretend. Mm. The reality of, of, of dressing and how, because the whole lot of mixture now, marry someone that is focused in heaven, marry someone that the way they dress. If you have someone that dress anyhow and you meet the person, maybe your value system hasn't actually, you know, uh, go against such. And you're like, let me see what I can do to talk to the person and change. I mean, I, I don't want to cast him. 
I don't want to castigate him that he got married to someone that dressed like that and puts every, every part of the body out. But I always say something. In every setting where you go, what you wear matters. If, for example, I tell people, if you go to court, there's a way you dress. If you are in a house, there's a way you dress. If you are going to swim pool, there's a way you dress. If you are going to church, dress as if you are going to church. I tell people, where you are going to, when you go to club, you never see a club girl dress suit. I'm talking to somebody that sneaks from the office to club. If he sneaks from office to club, when he gets to club, oh my it's change. change. Yes. But we see people that go to church with club dress. We see people that go and call themselves Christians. So if you want to be bad, be bad. If you want to be of God, be of God. That's my own. If you are saying you belong to a particular way or you dress a particular way to portray God, let people know you for that. Don't creep, cap, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. But I tell people, if it does not matter, somehow your message will be watered down because that is the goal. Because by the time they assess you, the way you dress, the way you do things, before you say, hey, they have assessed you and they, you are not speaking to yourself. You want to talk to people. And if it's culture and, you know, differ from at least, let it be more dressy. So I'm not here to, to judge uh, chief laws for getting married. For God's sake, what happened to Jamaican ladies? Who, who said that I'm, Nigeria cannot marry Jamaica? What happened to them? So people that have been eyeing her in Nigeria, let the Lord bring their own husband to them. It's, 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 it's not even so, about, it's, it's about, that's what, it's about the dressing of what happened wife. to the dressing? I you want know, to understand. Is, is it the wedding it or that's that the, bo the body is open, it is, it is showing you all, in all our shape. I think let's go to fashion guru now. How well, how much is too much for a minister's wife or somebody that portrays gospel to dress? Good. Uh, you know, you are a fashion person now. Yes, yes. You understand? So is there any, is there any extreme? Like, uh, you know, this, uh, there's this woman, now, um, this pastor's wife that did birthday some weeks ago okay. that was trending mm -hmm. um you so know she, yeah, she, yeah you know a lot of people criticize the woman that she overdressed that she's a part you, you've seen her the way she dresses to church as in every makeup everything and a lot of people criticize her so is there something like extravagant dressing as a pastor's wife or there should be more what is your definition of more dressing you are going to talk about that too more okay. dressing what's the definition of more dressing and extravagant uh, you know what? Uh, what is modest to you might not be what is modest to me. Okay. That's the issue because some people will sit in a place saying you must dress modest in their own view. Mm -hmm. Like what uh, I'm wearing now, to some people, they might like is his V neck. They can't wear it. They can wear it. It is not modest. It should come up. It should come up. Mm. But to me, this is modest. And, and okay. those people, the way they see you, they, they see, see you that you, you are... Sinner. No, no, I see you are, you are not covering your nakedness. Yes, like you are yes, yeah, okay. that you are, you are trending with the world. Okay. Like what you said about uh, dressing... Uh, extravagant. extravagant. See, I, I look, I, I watch the, the big day. Well, hmm. maybe because I'm a fashion, uh, I'm a fashion designer. I don't see she's anything seen. bad. In, one, she's not revealing anything. I am not seeing anything. Everything is covered. But she's, she wore quality things. Hmm. Nobody, you don't like quality things? I love quality things. Sir? So I don't see anything bad. But, but there are some people that are saying that it is too, like, you know, when you overdress as a pastor's wife, that you... What, what do you of, mean by overdress? Can, for, I, can for, you please explain for that? I, I, um, you you overdress. know, over, let me like you are too expensive. Your look is distracting. Kind of, as, right. in, okay, as it is distracting from the message. Like you write, you rightly said that if you like for the occasion, if you are doing, you are saying something, and you know people can be easily distracted. You know, like that woman. If I go to her church, eh, number one thing I before I will listen to what she say, I will look at what she's wearing. And I know you likely do that as a fashion person. Yes, and you, that doesn't mean that so, I will be distracted from the no, message. No, oh, for a while, for the first instance, you will first of all not get the message because you want to assess her. And for someone that doesn't really fall into that category, we lose the message because be, she will be like, ah, this kind of woman. What does she have to say? See what she's dressing. She, 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 she see the way she's dressed. Uh, see the way she look. So, do you know that there's some? Why, why I was a Muslim? Mm -hmm. 
what really attracted me to late Bimbo Jukoya mm -hmm. was the way she dressed. Mm. And from that dress, she dresses, she dressed well. Well, well, yeah, I she, like, covers, yes. she covers I'm not her body. About, I'm not talking about revealing, mm. you're talking about expensive. Mm. She dressed well, and All that right. attracted Can, can, I, can I come in a bit? Okay. Now, the Bible tells us in everything we do, we should do it what? Moderately. moderately. So what is that? That moderately now, is what we really moderately. Mm -hmm. Now, it comes depending on who you are. But in what you are, think of what others are also thinking as moderately. Hmm. That, 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 because that, that's... Sorry. Wait, I'm going somewhere. Okay. I'm going somewhere. Because I'm also trying to put the Bible passage that says... Whatever do we eat that will make someone fall, oh. mm -hmm. you should not eat it. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, I'll be careful not to wear a dress of one million in such a way that people will see it. And it's the dress of one million they'll be looking at, forgetting and not listening to the message I'm giving you. Now, in our dress sense, what you can wear, I cannot wear it. So that's where the moderacy comes in. Because as a woman, you have your shape. I'm sorry, I'm going this way. Sure. I have my shape. She has her shape. And several women have their shape. What you will wear, I might not be re revealing. I might wear it and it will be revealing. Sure. So that's where the moderacy comes in, in whatever shape you have. In whatever money I have in life, let that moderacy be defined, even in your own judgment of your heart. Do you know some of us, we dress with the mind that I'm going to slay them in church today. Thank God I have the grace to be the pastor's wife and I'll be on the altar. In fact, I will make sure I lead the first prayer session today to slay them. What is your motive of dressing? Mm. Now, that's where you now sit down and tell yourself. I dressed up one day and when I was coming up, my husband was like, this was not what you were wearing. I said, my mind told me not to wear it. And I changed it because I asked myself, what are you wearing this? Mm. Why are you wearing it? That's where the moderacy comes in. Now, if you are dressing up, do you ask yourself, why am I wearing this? Okay, if so-so person sees me in this, does it make sense? There are some people, I'm not judging. Mm -hmm. They will still wear that cuff, but I, I think I s went to watch, um, I think I saw Mercy, she was a wedding dress. Okay. Yeah. She put some flair. Yeah. You saw it too. So that is where it comes in. She wore a very beautiful dress, but we didn't really see the shape. You understand? So what might bring out your shape? What might not bring out your shape, rather? Might bring out my own shape. What might bring out my shape might not bring out her own shape. That's why the mo I must con consider my moderacy. You must consider your moderacy. See, moderacy in the word of God, did he put it any percentage? No. Mm -hmm. So you ask yourself as a woman, as a pastor, when your wife wants to go out, ask yourself, my wife is dressed, is she moderate enough? Now the moderacy now covers my shoulder. It covers the cleavage. It covers a lot of things. And what are we now portraying to the world? You understand? For heaven's sake, we are, as we are now, some people are looking at us, they are analyzing what we walk. Mm. You understand? See, as long as, even as if you are walking on the streets, do you know that we are walking on the street? I tell, I'll tell my husband, are you seeing that? My husband will say, when, my eyes, when I'm not blind, I must see. You don't understand? People are seeing you. Now, when they see you, are they seeing the modesty of Christ in your dressing? That is where we are all to go. I'm not judging anybody here. I'm also talking yeah. to myself. But, but do you know what? Do you know it's not possible for you to please everybody? No, I agree with do you. Do you understand? Yes. Because if you dress one way now, there will be some people that will look at us that we are too... Do you understand? But how about looking at it from the aspect of what is convenient for me? What pleases you? Yes, what pleases you? Yes, you, you must wear what pleases if I, if you. I but the moderacy must... That that moderacy if, line if that must not be crossed. If that moderacy is okay, maybe a, a, a dress a or a, 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 a knee length below my... Is what is comfortable my knee. Uh, is what is comfortable for me and I'm okay with it. And, you know, and I'm trying to look at, okay, would this person like it? How about what suits me or what's convenient for me? Remember that you said something about shape. People have different shape. Somebody yes. that has a big shape. There's no way, even if he's wearing a dalami, dalami or what do they call it, it will still show that he's big, she's big. Well, it's well, different that is, is the, between yes, the body Yes, exactly. Okay, that now shows how everything. About, how about smartness? You understand? Something that fits. You that can be smart in. and still be moderate. Yes. Okay, how about someone that, okay, like this is it. I'm not trying to justify, so I just yeah, want us so, to reach yeah, because there are some people, balance yeah, balance things, yes. you know, there are some people that, okay, this is each period and you just want to wear something very light or that is armless and you're like, because of, uh, you have to cover your body, so you have to wear something that is long, that, is, that, co that covers you to the neck 
How about thinking about my comfort first before what Good. pleases other? Good. You have to think about your comfort. See, I think about my comfort a lot. But in that my comfort, is my body revealing? That's the point. In that my comfort, mm -hmm. I see people that wear these transparent long dresses. But you see them, they wear something dark underneath that you can't even see anything. If you know you are feeling hot, stay back in the house. Don't go out and start revealing what will even make another man fall. Let's be sincere about it. See, dress smart, dress beautiful, but be moderate in it. Hmm. What, what, are are things, what are the things that makes that other men question. fall? No, no, we should ask. See, I let mean, me tell you something. I think I would Ma answer you. I love God. that. Do you know that some <laughs> men, I will talk to men now. I hope you are hearing me. Uh, uh, yeah, there are some men, yeah, no matter... Cover, in I fact, use a letter. God bless you. There's some men that they will see what is under. Yeah, we see. Yes, men like that. Where are you people? <laughs> Listen to me. Go and change, change, turn a new living. They say you change. That even eh? through the dark dress and the flowing yes, dress, see. you are still seeing. The Lord everybody. will lay his hands on you in Jesus' name. But okay, is, so is, let's is, come is back to people about, like that. Is, is it about what they see or what is inside that man? Is it, see, it's in, it's the, the, it's the mind, it's in the a brain to the heart. Okay, maybe I think we should. Hey, but don't help the man to fall. No, he's there. No, but the truth is, don't help them to fall. If a man that will fall, we fall. We wear that will make a man fall. If she covers her body, a man will fall. If I don't cover, he will fall. Don't let me make him fall. That's my own business. Can you please help me? Tell me what I will wear that will not make that man fall so that I will not fall. Into the, way, the way you cover everything like this, there are some men that will see you and yeah, they will see that fall. That's why I, I, I pray for them that they will not put their hands on them. Looking at your eyes, there are some men that yes. looking at your high body, your lips, they don't fall. Lips, your lips, your they don't fall. Lord, Lord bless you. The Lord will deliver you all in Jesus' name. So you want to cover everybody. See, the truth is, I love to dress beautifully. I love to dress smart. But let's still tell ourselves, let's still keep reminding ourselves of the modesty. Mm. It can't be overruled, yeah. honestly. It cannot be overruled. I, I think because of our really, time, let's, really. let's hear from, <laughs> from Pastor David. So, what, so what, makes, so what so, makes a man fall? No, before we go to that, okay. the, the Bible says something. He said that um, uh, Paul said, he said, everything is permissible for me, but yes. not everything is beneficial. Yes. All right, so the fact that you have your life to live, mm. you have your comfort to consider, like she said, mm. it's also very important that you have to consider does this thing glorify God? That I have said. That's Remember, he said we are ambassador of Christ. Mm. Everybody that wants to dress moderately, my sister, we know this is moderate. Mm. Even going excess, they know this is sexy. They know. And then you are saying, What is moderate for me? So what is, they know it. That this is going beyond. And I ask people, I ask ladies, excuse me, is there any accolade that comes to when you reveal your body? When you are like, ah. Like you say, I want to slim down today. What is it that is there any, any kind of achievement for you getting yourself revealed in your body? Mm. I don't know. So, if there is not, then you have to consider you are now a Christian, you belong to a kingdom, and you must represent that kingdom well. And I will say this just as a humility if you are a slain girl and you work in a bank, you want to go for an interview, how do you dress? You are an ex banker. Yes. All right. Yes, so, yes. how do you dress? How do you? That's a natural place. How will not talk about God Himself? You see, when we begin to look at, I is God that sees my heart. Is God that sees everything? It's not you judging me. This day, correction has become to judgment. Yes. This day, you know, trying to uh, talk to somebody has become condemnation. Yes. Mm. And it's not supposed to be. No, it's not supposed what to is be. not good is not good. Yes. And whatever you know that is not good, accept it and take it. Do not work on it. What will make a man fall? Is another subject that is a subject on that we cannot exhaust here. We want to start because we want no, to start. let's start it because no, no. of our time. Because any man that wants to fall to see things, he will see either no. he dress, uh, he see somebody that dress anyhow or not. Because what we are seeing differ. Mm. I'm looking at you, something else is somebody that we're coming to, somebody, somebody's mind. Mm. So if you're a man that is in discipline, it's another subject. So you need to work on it, not because somebody's dressed. I said, oh, because he's dressing and that's why he was raped. Are you an animal? Mm. You need to work on yourself. Does it mean that anybody on scared is now to grab? You understand? I, I, I listened to one man who said that, that he's, he, a lady came to the office. He's a pastor. You know, got born again. And then the lady came and was just hearing, grapper, grapper, grapper. <laughs> and he said, no, I won't grab. No, I won't grab. You know, but if you have listened to that, so Jackson, he will have grab. <laughs> so you have, <laughs> you have a choice to grab or not to grab. So if you are looking at someone in a dress and you fall, it's your, it's your fault. Hmm. Do you understand? Hmm. 
but let's let's come back to as we round up. I will submit by saying, who you are, the kingdom you are, represent it well. Mm. Don't try to please people. At the same time, you must not displease your God. Mm. And the big no, so I can't please everybody. Are you displeasing God? Mm. Don't try to say, I don't want to please anybody. I want to please myself. What about God that you represent? Because some lifestyle will drop if you love God. Some attitude will drop if you love God. Mm. Some ways of doing this will drop if you love God. Mm. So don't hide that God. That's my take. Why are you afraid of being godly? Is there anything bad? There are people who dress well and they are doing good. Sure. There are people who dress well who, has no, who are beautiful. Sure. Because they are posting ladies, uh, ladies on the social media. And I said, for God's sake, it was the King Hillary that posted it. I said, wow. Black and everything covered, but beautiful. Mm. The, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, um, Esther in the Bible, talking about makeup. There's nothing bad in makeup, but it can be done neatly. To represent who you are. Mm. Not coming to church and sleep everywhere here. Say it's my I worship my father. He knows my heart. <laughs> and raise up your hand. I present raise up your hand, all your hand Peter out. I, I, Do you understand? I, I, so that's me. And I, these I, days sorry, people I, don't take that mm. as sexy. They see it as don't judge me, but, it's God I'm serving. But I don't know about the culture. I think somebody mentioned culture of mm. person. You know, I think we're talking about uh, South African church. You know, there's this station on TV that uh, they used to show the choirs. Um, you see the choirs in this church. All the choirs, their shape. Oh my goodness. The shape is. The, what South they Africans put on. can naturally. You understand? And I would be like, <laughs> okay, uh, what do you want the men of South Africans to do? How about they now take Nigerian man to go and stay in this? Ah, uh, that so is where the problem is. It's the shape of so, the body. <laughs> it reveals eh, shape of South African ladies in church that are in choir. The shape review it shows the shape of the of the body. But it's, it's the church you see is not the only church in South Africa. I beg you. In general, there are other churches that, church that doesn't do about, like that. We're talking about culture. Mm. So as a man, I think you mentioned something that I will follow. That discipline as a man, if you want to follow, you will follow. So it's not about mm. something that a, a woman is. It's it's truth. about all the women around you are wearing. Uh, you will sleep every you. every woman. Come tell me, so you now close your eyes. You want you want to go. Out. How about if you go to beach and you see different mm -hmm. shape mm -hmm. wearing the mm -hmm. bomb shorts? You'll be grabbing there, grabbing there. So no, that's like this is discipline. As a, as a man, you discipline yourself. I agree, man. Then I, want, I, I have another thing that I want us to wrap up with. As a lady, do you dress to suit yourself? You know, we've talked about God now. To suit yourself, your comfort, or your man. I if your man says, I mm -hmm. love you to wear bomb shorts. I love to <laughs> wear... It's a topic of another one. It's a topic. I know it's a topic. Yeah, we try to talk about it, but it I really want us to really scratch it a bit. Do you dress to please yourself? This is what you love to do. This is how you love to see yourself or your husband first. Okay, so talking about what make men for, I think is is a subject on its own. Okay. Because to me, I choose discipline to be more important. If you are disciplined, you don't you don't go for anything you see. If I'm seeing you wearing something, it does it might not be what you are wearing. I'm seeing it might be something else. Mm. So either you wear something tight or you wear something covering person that want to be loose as a man would be loose That's mm. so the place of discipline is very important for me so i, I represent them i'm not supporting that because everybody drop I mean, dress really so it's next to be you know take advantage of however i i i i, I heard something behind the screen i'm behind this a program which is very key balancing if what you are wearing we are not saying that's what will take you to heaven however your personality and what you represent also should show in what you wear. Mm. That's my own take. Mm. Whatever things you portray that you are, it must show in your talk. The Bible says, let us be example in word, in deed, in whatever we do. So if, we're, if you are giving an, if you are going to be an example, it has to be all people that will see that this is an example. All right? Culture differ. When I privileged to travel to China, I, I, was, I was working and it was a hot sun. I saw people who dress, you know, uh, you know, um, on the street, naked. I mean, short shorts and knickers and ladies. But when I get to some quarters, I didn't see them dressed like that. Mm -hmm. But because they are outside, I'm not, I can't control you outside. I can't do anything outside. If you are my wife and I'm, I represent the kingdom, I'm not telling you to dress to suit me. I'm dressed to suit me and to also, first of all, go. I tell people you are, first of all, accountable to God before your spouse. If, if I'm saying dress, like he said, to please a man, or to please a husband, or to please God, if the husband is, is somebody that represents God, he must just towards you dress to please God. Not to just keep me. What are you, what, what, 
What kind of dress that will make you suitable that God will not say don't do Okay, dress? how about if the man now wants a dress that will show her body? That will show that, her that, body. That, that, that that shape, that will, that oh, will show, oh, oh. that will portray something that is not comfortable for another man in court. He's in the house, not outside. No, apart from no, the, no, even outside. The there are some, there are some men that like they, will, they yeah. will choose, they will select the dress their wife will say, like, this is what I want you to let, dress. Let, and you, as outside, you are like, oh, this woman is overdressed. Uh, the watch she's wearing is not okay. It's not according to the kingdom. And my man says, I'm okay with it. I, I, so, that's what I said. The man, I mentioned the man. Uh -huh. The man will also look at what you are telling your wife to wear must represent God. Uh, if, if that's according to him, it represents That's another uh -huh. discussion. Do you if it represents God, it, it is him and God now. Yeah. It, yeah. It, it is okay. So what is the business with another man? It's what my wife is dressed. I'm not saying because I'm not dressed in line. Dress as my wife. Somebody else will be provoked because of that. There but are some people else. that will see that, that wife. That's what we're talking about discipline. That's what we're talking about discipline. P keep your eyes off of somebody else's wife. Don't go and leave somebody else's wife. Stay with your own. If it's your own that you, you like the way you dress, stay with him. And then you should, then we should leave the ladies because, because Theophilus was okay with what with the wife what he was. And everybody were like, I, 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 I am with let, let, let's, the let's, 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 not, uh, let's not divert too much. The focus of discussion is that lady. What she's wearing or what she is okay. It's not even the lady. We're just yeah, using our hands. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I the, way the, the, the way people reacted. reacted to it. Yeah. The point is this, which was the question. So I don't know. Is it the body, the, the shape or what the lady wore that is a bone of contention that people are talking about? For me, I don't see anything in the shape. Is God giving shape? But to some brothers, some what? brethren we, we, that we, are not comfortable, they were like, a man of God that is spiritual like this should not marry a woman. That how did he see a woman that has his shape and is still <laughs> okay with his shape? So that is the, another question. That, okay, does that people that have shape. a shape now is it is it a crime to have a fine shape? And even if you have the shape, does that mean you now have to now now uh, sew a cloth that will now? That won't be okay with you because you don't want people to see your shape. Even some people, some people <laughs> are very attracted to people that drop everything, that covers everything. So who who, who created the shape? Well, God created the shape. Abi. And God gave every one of us shapes. Abi. But however, in this gathering here, there's a way she can dress that what we are doing, people will not listen to it. It is they'll be looking at her. There was, there's a way my sister can dress that if we are standing, people will not say another thing again. The shape is there, good. But should the shape make me fall? Should the shape make another woman like me go back to God and be like, God, ah, why didn't you give me shape? Why did you create me like this? Shapes are beautiful. I love women with shape. But in that your shape, for me, must you carve out everything? The point is, is there any woman that is shapeless? There's nobody that's shapeless. Come on, so that's the point. Shape? But, there's but what if you suits, think, what, what suits see, everybody? God bless you. Let me tell you something. If you go into, she's my witness, into some fashion sense, they will tell you for this shape, these are the dresses you should wear. There are some shapes, if you have a big hip, they expect you to wear like a big top. At least you can't wear a top that is above your hip. There are dresses for each shape that's defines that i will keep emphasizing moderacy and this moderacy cuts a line and across everything in life finance everything everything you can never cut out of uh, moderacy and that's why god talked about orderliness too see as i'm seated here there are things i can wear i was passing through yanopaja one day and what i saw you know for me a woman to see something and now wait and turn my back to look again the front was glorious the back was hallelujah hey, amen that is me you don't this is even a woman assessing and another you, woman appreciate it. Please, i'm begging you what the men do you know what attracted me the men around everybody's yeah, focus oh, was yes. like ah, what are they looking at i saw even me <laughs> after passing i still turned you, the, you know all the faces why why do you want to do that hey, you don't understand. no is it deliberate why it's a body my dear sister do you know some people deliberately do this? But so for those that deliberately people, do it, let's just leave, beg God for mercy. Me, I'm always begging God for Even so. me, I still need mercy. Now, for me, mm. I'm going to use myself as a very typical example okay. here. I would not want to, I, I want to come out plain. There are times if I find myself that um, I will have to lead praise and I'll have to find myself jumping. We women, we know there are some things we call packaging. 
you package i can package myself that i will jump you will not say anything modrisi i could as well say i am endowed god bless me uh -uh. did i create myself and i jump praise worship becomes another thing else sorry sorry for cutting in. you see this thing you mentioned there are some churches that are peculiar if body rebellion is not important when you fall under no people should not cover you god bless you why do they cover why do they want to go and carry rap, rap and cover if body rebellion is not important when a woman fall down and you also part you you cover or you you understand that means there are some part of the body you believe that must not be exposed i mean why all the body is, should not even be exposed to be. So if you are going that way, that means somebody that follows that anointing, would you leave her there with everything up? No. Okay. So okay. So why do you cover? Now, now, why, why do question, we cover? There is this question I want to ask. Uh -huh. Okay. People that reveal their body, mm. are they going to hell or hell? No, we are mm -hmm. not here to judge anyone. I'm not judging anybody here. You see, my, my take is this. Does that mean they are not Christians? No. Mm -mm. Don't, no. Don't get it we can't, does that, that mean they don't, they don't have yeah, That still comes back to judgment again. No. You see, all of this thing you are, you are asking, they are different subjects. Sir, it's just like it doesn't asking. Mean, it doesn't mean the fact that you dress well, you will not go to heaven. Sir. It doesn't come to the person that dress well and dress neat that will not go to heaven. Don't make it look as if when you, dress, when you don't dress well, it's only when you get to heaven. You talk about relationship. It doesn't mean the person that dress well does not have a relationship with God. That's the balance. But sometimes once you like it because it doesn't dress well, it but has a relationship with God. Who told you that person that dress well doesn't have a relationship with God? He has. But don't make your life tied to come and cause confusion in the system. That's it. And I give a typical example of what I just said now. If somebody fall under the influence of the Holy Spirit and everybody run to cover, especially ladies, that means they believe there are parts of the lady that should not be revealed. Then you have the capacity to cover it. Why do you come to church naked? That's what I want to say. So for modesty, for modesty, let us represent kingdom that we represent, I mean, you know, that, that we portray. Everything we are doing should be more. I, I say it again. This modest, everybody know what is modest. Modest. We know it. I said, we want to shy away from it. Do you understand what I'm saying? I am not saying that we should not begin to condemn people. I say to people, if I have to talk to you, if an unbeliever is doing some things, I should not be worried because that's the lifestyle of an unbeliever. But I should be worried when a believer is doing some certain things. For example, if a believer is stealing, why should I worry? If you, I mean, an unbeliever is lying. Why should I? It's nature. It's that nature in here. But I should be worried when a fellow believer is doing something that shouldn't be done. But I will not cast you. That means there are still work to be done. Mm. When God walk in you, the relationship you are talking about, there are some relationships. I've heard my father and Lord say, I want to wear a dress, and God say, don't wear the dress. He will go and drop it. And we are not that dress. Maybe something wants to happen. Mm. You don't know. Mm. If we have a relationship, God, it will form the way you talk, what you do. That relationship must show in everything you do. So that means if I say I have to talk to you about what you wear, talk to you about what, how you look, there's still more work to be done. You have the relationship you have to create for by yourself that will reflect in what you wear and how you say it. Sorry. We are not mm. condemning. We are not saying you are a sinner. You are not going to hell. But then there's a level of how you must look that God expects us to look. All right, sorry, please, know. let me come in just slightly, okay, just okay. like one minute. I watched a video where a pastor was praying. I think they, they invited a guest minister also, so he was praying. And a female pastor stood up. And the man, I don't know who saw, I don't know if you saw that video. And the minister was like, are you a pastor? And the woman said, yes. And the man was like, and you are dressed like this. Mm. In fact, he asked the cameraman to come. You understand, the, the dressing was not... And there Sorry, and can there, you, what, what, what did she wear? What she was wearing was just showing her shape. I don't even think she was wearing something that maybe like a camisole and it had mm -hmm. slits. Mm -hmm. okay. It was not really okay to come even as a pastor okay. to that kind of service. Mm -hmm. And the man stood her up in the midst of the congregation and told her, are you not a pastor? She says, yes, she is. And the man told her, he said the cameraman should come. The man, cameraman came. Then at a point, he said the cameraman should take the camera away. And now faced the woman and told the woman, do you know you are an instrument of God? The woman said, it's not a Nigerian because her accent will know okay. it's not a Nigerian setting. Yeah. She said, yes, pastor. And the man was like, do you know the way you are dressed is not okay? She said, yes, you understand. And the man now told her that she has a calling of God on her life and she's not expected to dress that way and she should not dress that way again and you know they were showing the face of this lady and i saw that you know in a big congregation she took that rebuke 
I don't know how she dressed after then because I'm not there. Nigeria. But if it's Nigeria, you rebuke someone like that in it's service. It's judgment. see, don't let us judge ourselves. But mm. even if you are going to work on the streets, ask yourself, what am I showing? What am I revealing? What am I when someone sees me, does the person see something? I still come back to that more dressing. We all know more dressing, sincerely speaking. That's what I'm yeah. And that's why if we want to eat, don't we know more dressing? Mm -hmm. So why don't we why, 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 why we're not just eating and eating and eating and why not you, stopping? Why do you stop? Why do you stop? Time. Then you should apply it to everything. You should apply it. It's like asking, because she's not wearing earrings, is she going to go to heaven? Okay, because she's wearing ear earrings, is she going to hellfire? That's not for you to judge. Mm. That's for mm. God. Your conviction is different from mine. Mine is different from hers. But in everything, modresty. Modresty. We all know modresty. We know it too. Except we want to deceive yes, ourselves. Yes, so from my, sorry, from my own experience in my industry, this modresty you're talking about, some people, because of their uh, 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 upbringing, they don't see revealing their chest, their shoulder as anything. They see it as back to we mothers. They see it as it's it's normal. Yes, back to you we know, mothers. Because when, when when they come to you, they want to make their outfit and all that, and you're talking to them about that. You see the way you see it in them that they will not pretend it. They see mm -hmm. it as it's a it's normal natural. thing. That is it's, back to we understand? mothers. Yeah, yeah. Because I want to, that's why I want to bring that up. Mm. Because the way they were being brought up, they don't see it as anything. They say uh, cleavage or whatever. They will tell you that no, the only thing that is they revealing that is. That is not supposed to be uh, exposed. Eh, it's only the nipple. Not this other thing is a flesh like your wonderful, like your hand. And they will tell you. They will tell you. You know. You will say it in them that they, 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 they will be saying it as if they know what they are saying. They know what they're doing. So if you are trying to tell them, like, why are you? Am I? I, I'm not I, I, looking I, I think I'm like bad. according to what she said, you know, individual knows what is good for them. There are some people in the entertainment industry that you know intentionally they want to review uh, sure you understand mm -hmm. you know but this one i think i think it's from the context of the religious setting mm -hmm. and i think that's why some people they choose where they worship the setting the culture of the place if the culture of the place where you worship allows some things as in it gives you a kind of maybe the ministers they've given you the length of dress you should wear i think if it's okay with you you comply with it and at least we've seen some churches that you see there are ushers, their pastors, they will wear below the new and they'll still minister. You see them think they are hair and they'll still minister. You know, so that's why it's about personality. What does the person carry? Mm. For me, it's about, you know, fine, I grew up from CAC background and everything, but you know, there are some times that I like some things and I want to do it. And I, I first of all look at what fits me. It's not about what I want to do. I remember there was a time I tinted my hair. And I heard from my mom, I knew that within that period of time, I was disborn again to her. <laughs> because I just, something just came on me. I have done it once, but I just did a part of it. So now, then I just did everything, like almost three quarters of my hair. And I just think I didn't even care what anybody would say. I knew that my husband, but he doesn't, he doesn't even care mm, in as much as it fits you, it. you understand? And within that time, my mom was, you could, she couldn't say it out, but she would just be looking at me as if I've this, I've this bond again. And I didn't send her because I knew that this thing, I just like it. I don't, in fact, it wasn't affecting my relationship with God, not until people were not trying to make me see it as if I've been, I've gone out of the world. Hmm. You understand? So it's about people that are judged, people that see something. What you see is not, it might not even be a sin unto the person, but until what you are now saying it and you are making it to look like a sin and the person will not be feeling guilty that ah maybe they said i've done this thing you know it's not affect my relationship with god because i feel like ah they've said this thing is a sin it's not it's not a standard for somebody go a child of god i will not believe is, is my life being affected so i think as believers as, as people that feel that oh this thing is what i call moderacy this is okay i think we should know how to 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 set a balance between judging people and con that, there are times when I say I'm not going to judge you, but the way in your heart you have judged a person that this person is going to. When my mom say, when I now change my hair back, he say, hey, you are now born again by me. So, so in your mind, so you are not even happy with me. You understand? So I think it's very, very important for us to really strike balance between these. It's a very wide topic, honestly, it's a very and wide topic. I know not something we can just 
finish mm. in a time. Mm. Pastor David, yes, me, I'll still say it as a man. If you like something and you want your wife to, 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 to do it, maybe you like it from another woman, please allow your woman. Don't say because ah, I don't want uh, them to think maybe uh, I've been disborn again or we are not born again. If you like it, let her do it. Because if you don't allow her to do it and you appreciate it in another person, it's mm. a sin for that man. So please allow your wife to express as is it, it is the question to me or to general so general men that if, it, if, it, if it now if it is now if it is now entering your own body your head because I'm, I'm, not, I, I, I'm, I'm not saying it now because you rep, you rep it them I know, I know, no I know there are some things you like I remember the day your wife wore a kind of bomb shorts you know you were it's not a no it's 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 I don't like it or I like it. I shall know. I saw it in you that you like okay, it. Okay, you know what happened? Wait, no, 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 do you like what you see? It's not about like. It's like I was. You I know what I do? I don't You like that? Don't ask the question now. Why will I not like my wife? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not talking about your wife. What she wore? The way your wife dressed. The outfit. What she wore? Yes. The way she dressed. Listen. If she dressed that way. In, in as, as my wife, mm -hmm. it is still my wife. No, I it's not it's it's not not it. diplomatic. I don't know what you're trying to yes, say. I know. Yes, I, I know. know. Yes, I know. Yes, I like my like wife it? and I like her the way she is. Glory, she hallelujah. That, that day cool. when you what saw her, that outfit, that shot maker. Why did I not like my wife? Oh, my God. I Yeah. Yeah. He likes it. He likes Good. It. He likes it. And he would like to see more. Two people. He would like. He would like to see more of that. More of it. So no. As, you as like boss, no. when you meet her, mm -hmm. if I am influenced to her dress when she goes out or not, ask her. And if I am influenced to her dress, but, but not. But sometimes, but sometimes you refer, you refer mm -hmm. to it that my husband but, doesn't like it. Come on. My husband that wouldn't is, like that it. That means anything you see in her, I am part of it. That's what I'm telling you. Anything you see, but, but that, one, that, one, that one you were in part of it. Who told you? You were in because there what it was the there. Was that, that it was there we decided to no, dress up. What you are like trying that. to say is that there are some certain things you wear, possibly I don't like, and I tell you it's a lie. Because no, I anything am, you I see am particular outside about the car, inside saw, if you put on, I influence her. I have told her this last week, don't wear that. This is what I want you to wear in the house. When you see her outside, it's David. No, Pastor David. I, Pastor David. Pastor David. I don't know exactly David. what you want to be like. Pastor David. Okay. Pastor, Pastor, David. David. Pastor David. Yes. There's a question Pastor I David. Ask. Yes, ma'am. What you saw that day? Beautiful. Wait, beautiful. That is yes. what I want to hear. Yeah. That is what this. So, so, what, why is this? Wait, wait, wait. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. When I say okay. beautiful, what it's okay. Not, uh, what it's okay. Thank you. We're okay with the beauty. We're okay. We're okay. So, Auntie Bosse, sweat. Auntie Bosse. Your man likes what he saw that day. Yeah. Please give him Who more. Who told you that? He does not like the Wait thing that he said before. Wait, see. Like so, do more. Do more. Do more of that. So, it's part of what You see what so, I'm talking about? They believe that is what we treat a man. It's part of it. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Why are you not capitalizing on what you have wear before that time? No. That day, it's made you happy. It's not about shorts. It's not about shorts. It's about what? But you can see the fitness. Who told you I don't see? That is it. Somebody that I see, I sleep with every day. No, before we go, uh, before we even go from women, eh? If you like something, and if you know your your husband might not want to tell you directly, or you notice that he has been mentioning that ah, that woman oh, Rachel T, yeah, go for yes. oh, oh, he won't even yes. go for it. Mm -hmm. yes. But you know, know that your man likes it. Go and buy it if it fits you. Yeah. Buy it, dress well to suit your man. The, to help the your, man, to help the man. To help I will the man. pick your clothes uh -huh. and I will give it to her. And I will tell her what I want for my wife. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it's yes. okay. It's fine. It's awesome. awesome. Yes, it does, in as, in as much as it fits. It I am saying in it as again. much as it fits. But say outside. 80, 90 percent of the No, do you know, do you know what? We you are know why we are asking that question? Yes, ma'am. Because Bosse, outside or inside, mm -hmm. on a good day, on a normal day, if we don't compel her. She wouldn't want to wear, wear that kind that of kind thing that day. And deep inside but, of her, and deep inside of her, men are not permitted deep. to enter here. It's only women Wait, that are there. Emma, do you know that deep inside of her, she loved it? Yes. 
But because of was, she, she, she thought her husband might not like it. Yes. Yeah. And uh, uh, she did. Bossa does not dress like that before. Bossa, I know. You don't yeah, dress yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I like her that way. She wasn't wearing this when I like her. Hey, but hey, wearing this, you are liking her the more. Hey, okay. She can't be a girl. I would do that. 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 You are last. 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 You as in styling your outfit in a particular style, and you are not comfortable, comfortable with, it. with it. One, maybe you looked at it that, ah, I'm a minister, or yeah. I'm a child of God. I can And the husband said, well, it does not matter. It doesn't mean. What, 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 do you, what can, as, in, as a woman, where will you pitch your tent? I think I've asked that question before. Mm. Uh, this is a woman. Uh, so yes. Uh, uh, woman uh, uh, where will you, you pitch your tent? And my husband doesn't. My husband wants your husband, it. Yes. It's contradictory but, but to you. You, you are not. You, you are yes. not. You don't like it. Mm -hmm. it. And your husband like, wants you know, it. I am not comfortable with this kind of an outfit or this kind of a style. Well, the Where Bible says, pay? "Submit to your husband as you unto the Lord." Okay. Eh? You understand? My husband likes it. Fine, you know. Fine. I wouldn't go for somebody that have different value from what. I have even before marriage. You know, I know it. that my man is somebody that. that we have mm -hmm. similar, at least even if yeah, not something close, you know, mm -hmm. something similar. I know what my husband can tell me to wear and not to wear. Mm -hmm. So I know my husband won't tell me to go and wear something that it's off my value system. But if he tells me to wear something and I know that okay, this thing is okay, it's not bad, I will go for it. In as much as it is not revealing, no, said, it, it, it is not. Like it is you, not. You, you, like you are not comfortable. You it's not, not that it's revealing. It. It's not I'm revealing. not comfortable. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. You, you don't. You are not comfortable. You are not comfortable. Okay. Let me. Let as me a just, minister. Let me, okay. Give no, an let instance. Let me just give an instance. Maybe you you are wearing a dress, mm -hmm. and you see that the dress is a bit showing your shape, and you are not too comfortable. Your husband likes it. He said, "Cause me." It's not that's, why, that's why I said my I don't have a man that will say. In fact, it's my home that we will, will even be worse than yeah, what he yeah, was. There are times that, that there are times that I, I have some clothes. I you know I've I always do this thing maybe for my hearing sometimes or even my dress. I will say maybe in my mind I know that that cloth is too short or too tight. Okay. But I lo I would love to wear it, so I will wear it and I will go and meet my husband. Honey, how about this clothes? I understand the way you react. I say, eh, go bad, no, but. Once I hear that, but okay. I know that Drop it is it. off it. Okay. Drop it. Okay. And so I know that he will not tell me to wear something that would be extra or no. off. Honestly, you it's not that extra. So I know. But because of the kind of <laughs> woman you are. Because of I, okay. think, I, I don't know. I can, don't know. I, can I say something? Okay. Mm -hmm. There was a day my husband, I love you, Mr. Denny. Oh. I hope we will watch this. Yes, so he's watching. Mm. He planned a coup. Okay. And call the tailor. Okay. <laughs> and gave the tailor the material. Wow. And when the tailor brought the clothes, and I wore the gown. Wow. Glorious hallelujah. Uh -huh. And this gown, mm. I was supposed to wear it to a burial program. Mm. Oh. And the, you know, the gown stopped like almost on my knees. Mm. I was like, I'm not comfortable with this. And he was like, wear it now. Mm. Okay. Ask me what I did. I wore it to the burial, mm -hmm. but I was holding a veil. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. In fact, as I was stepping into the burial program, you know, mm -hmm. people were looking at me like, I, I, did you actually you are, come you for a burial program this way? Mm -hmm. Trying to sit down, I lose the veil. I it covered covers. my body. Guess what? I'm sure he's hearing me. After that day, I begged him. I didn't wear that dress again. Mm -hmm. You understand? I bet, listen to what I said. Mm. I didn't fight him. Mm. I didn't make it an issue. Mm. You understand? Mm. I understood the facts he wanted it. Yeah. Yeah. I took yeah. a veil. Mm -hmm. I could decide I'm not going to take a veil and make trouble and won't go for yeah. that burial. Yeah. Yeah. You don't do that as yeah. a woman. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I just thought, okay, I must wear this dress. How can I to make him happy? Mm. Make, I must wear it to make him mm. happy. And but at the same time, to make me comfortable, mm -hmm. take a veil along. Mm. See, we women, we need wisdom. Mm -hmm. We need wisdom. Mm -hmm. And God will help us in Jesus' Amen. name. Mm -hmm. It is not easy. See, whatever I'm at, and at the same time, mm -hmm. I saw a man. I was in worry then. The way the girlfriend, the girlfriend dresses, I had to tell him, Uncle, can't you see the way Auntie Bossa is dressing? Do you know what the man said? He 
He said, however she wishes, she can dress. Mm. If she likes, she can walk naked. If a man is telling you that, run. Mm. I just kept quiet that day. Mm. A man in his right senses will never say, if my wife likes, let her walk naked. And maybe maybe it, there could have been some precedence. Maybe, maybe if she had been telling yeah, her and, to watch yeah, what she, she does. Maybe, maybe, maybe she caused Then they are heading nowhere. Let them go their understand? own way apart. Mm -hmm. So back to your point. Mm. We women, it takes wisdom. As in wisdom, you apply wisdom in yes. making your husband to, to grant his wish. Because if you are declined, he might not do that again. That's it. You understand? So That's I think it. it's always important for you to strike balance on that <laughs> on that <laughs> note. <laughs> to please our men, to make them, you know, to do what they like and at the same time to suit ourselves. Our comfort matters a lot too. Well, uh, it's been a very, very interesting topic and <laughs> very insightful one. I've learned a lot and I believe you that you're watching, you've learned a lot too. Dressing, how moderate is moderate. You know, the topic is going to, is, is, a, is a very wide topic, but I believe we've learned something. Thank you very much, my guest. Thank you very much for thank coming. You. Wow, You're you are coming here again yes. because <laughs> I really enjoyed this session with you. Thank you. Again and again. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Impeccable. Yes, sir. Ah. Hey. Impeccable. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey, he was ready. Yes, yes sir. sir. He defended the world. Ah, like you must say, your man really defended. Yeah? Yes, sir. Your man is good. Your man is good. Thank you very much. You are here together. We are bringing you back. back. Again, again, you. back. Yeah. again and again. And then what you want. Thank you very thank much. You. Our fashion is our celebrity yeah. fashion. That's why I say, I think you should be here today at least for this topic. And until we come away again next week for another interesting episode of Just a Chat. It's me, Bumi Alavi, saying have an amazing weekend. Bye. Bye. Bye.